What's up guys? So I've got a little DIY project, um, something like this I normally wouldn't video, but I thought, heck, you know, there's probably other kids out there that need their football helmets painted. Football season's coming up. Sometimes they're transitioning colors and usually a lot of kids have their own helmets now and they want to keep their helmet. So I'll just do a quick DIY on how to take apart a helmet and paint it. Hopefully this helps somebody. All right, so this is the helmet. It is a Rydell Speedflex. Um, it's only one years old. He used it all last year, and this year it needs to be white. The face mask can stay blue. I have painted my own helmets in the past, um, and it was pretty amazing how well the color stayed. I actually had the helmet all the way up until recently. So the helmet that I had, I painted it, I had it for about 20 years. I played with it for four. My kids played with it growing up. It was white, it never chipped. I was actually really impressed at what, how well it held up. So we're gonna go ahead and paint this one white. Hopefully it holds up as good as the last one did. So these newer helmets have some pretty cool features. The, the chin straps just don't snap on. They get pressure, um, pressured on from some some straps on the top side and, and this one has a ratcheting strap on the bottom side. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that off first. The face mask, um, it pulls off by pushing a pin in on these connectors and then you pull the inside part out so then I can pull the face mask off. And I've just got to pull all the interior padding off and then we just have to scuff up the helmet and believe it or not a good can of Krylon or something like that works great. Um, I'll go ahead and show you the color and, and uh, the type of paint I'm going to use and hopefully it does hold up strong like the last one did. So I'm going to have to start pulling this bad boy apart. Alright, so we're pretty much just to a raw shell now. I've got a couple rubber grommets right here. I'm going to try and see if I can pull them through. If they don't pull through easily, I'll just tape them off. Um, but it looks like they'll pull through. And I've got two little metal inserts for, um, for the screw to be able to hold the chin strap on. And so I'm just going to fill those with, with some tape or something um, so that the threads don't get all messed up. Other than that, it's really going to be a quick, easy spray. I just have to scuff the whole entire helmet down really good with a Brillo pad and then clean it up with some, um, some, some prep, paint prep type um, solvent and then throw some, throw some spray down on it and should be good to go. All right, so I think I can get these rubber grommets out pretty easily with some needle nose. All right, so... So I've taken about 10 minutes to go over this helmet with this wet sandpaper, and it's actually turning out better than I thought, so I'm not gonna use a Brillo pad. Um, just make sure you get all the little fine edges. You wanna get the edges all the way around it on the outside, even though there's not a whole lot of surface area. That's why you wanna try to scuff it up so that the paint really sticks to those edges and it doesn't start to peel off. So it's a lot like you know painting a car or anything else that needs a good coat of paint on it that you want to stick really well and not peel off. This helmet has a lot of little nooks and crannies and surface areas and changes. The old helmets were just kind of a dome and these helmets have a lot of different cool looking features on them but you just want to make sure you get all those little areas. I'll just rinse it off, dry it off, and then I'll use a paint prep and we'll throw some paint down. All right guys, so the helmet's pretty well scuffed up. Um, it looks really good. I'm just gonna throw some like paint prepare stuff on it, a little bit of rubbing alcohol, just clean up all the surfaces, try to get all the dust off of it, all the fingerprints off of it, and we'll paint it up. All right, it's probably kind of hard to hear me, but you know, whenever you're painting indoors, it's important to wear a mask. Um, you know, I don't have a whole lot of air circulation in here, and I don't want any right now because I don't want all the dust to come in here. This, the doors haven't been open for a while, there's not a whole lot of dust, so the helmet should turn out pretty good as long as I don't open the door. Alright, here's 
the primer. This is a, a rust tough enamel primer by Prylone. You know, any primer will work as long as it's okay for plastic. So I've got this white paint. It's the paint that it's the paint that I used on my race car, my cage in my race car, so it should work out pretty good. So here we are guys, almost a finished product, the shell's painted, turned out really good, just got to dry a little bit more and we'll be able to put all the padding back in and the face mask on and we'll be done.